Hello, my name is Holden Mathias with First Person Review. Today, we're going to be talking and reviewing about the, well, fairly new, somewhat new, the brand new Venom Pro 2 charger. Let's get started. So we can see at the box right here of all the capabilities. And first we want to talk about some of the adapters it comes with right out of the box. As you can see here, it'll be easier to, to show from the box than it would be all these tangled mess of wires. But just for the camera's sakes, we'll go ahead and show you some of the things that come with it. Okay? So here's basically what they call the master plug, if you will. It's just the Dean for the bullet connectors. But here's the, what they give. They give you a whole bunch of stuff like this right here, which is these little adapters, but they come with a female Deans connector. So what you'll do in the master plug, or you can use this as a male Deans, is plug this in. All right, get the right direction here. Plug this in, and now you have a glow plug charger. Okay, and etc. and so forth of the other stuff. Okay, but the stuff that you mainly use is e ES5 for your bigger models like 800, etc. And then the ES3 for, you know, your, you know, your 500, 550, etc. Okay, so now what we're going to do is power on. Actually, before we do that, we're going to take a look at just the charger itself. So you can see it's very simple, four button dashboard, okay. And it's coated in this kind of metallic, uh, rubbery feel coating, and it just feels hard as a rock. It feels real nice. And the bottom got your warranty and the remove, don't remove, void warranty, pass sticker, etc. Cooling fan. And I guess this would be like a strap on the side. You can see here or decoration. I'm not really sure. You have your charge, your uh, power plug in. You have your DC power plug-in, unless you're out in the field or something. It comes with the adapter. Your um, your balance tab board is built integrated inside, recessed in there, so you can't break it off like some of the other ones. Um, but it can go all the way from a three to all the way to a six cell. And then you got your bullet, female bullet connectors integrated in it as well, as well as some few other things. All right, then you obviously have your power cord. It's like a normal, just a 12 volt power supply cord cable. What we want to do is plug this in. There's no on and off switch, so as soon as you give it power, it's just going to go. So we got a drop cord here. We're just going to plug it in. It's going to beep and it'll tell you if you can zoom in. Okay. It's on lipo. This is a setup for um, 3S. So it's set up for. Uh, different batteries. So right now I'm going to show you how to charge a LiPo E-Flight 6L. So what we're going to do is pick the appropriate adapter. Okay, we're going to plug this cable. in. This is the appropriate cable. Okay, now remember, always plug in the bullet connectors first. Otherwise you plug this in, these can touch and can spark and mess up your battery. We don't want that. So we'll go ahead and plug it in. Black to black. Red to red. Okay, now we'll just plug this in as shown, you know. Sorry, plugging it backwards, what's wrong with me? That won't work. Okay, now we'll plug it into the actual board itself. And as you can see on the talent balancer lead, there's two little uh, guides. Okay, little tabs, if you can see that nicely. We're just going to plug it in on the six channel port, which is the very biggest one. We're going to plug it tabs up. Be careful not to mess up the wires or anything. I'm trying to get this the best I can where you can see it. But, plug that in. Careful with it. No, I don't push by the wires. I always take my fingernails and push in beside it. Alright. So now we have that plugged in. Let's go through the menus and let's set this battery up to charge a LiPo 6L battery. 
So as you can see, there's four basic buttons. They're pretty simple. I don't know, can you see the lighting pretty good? All right, see the lighting pretty good. And I love, I forgot LCD blue lighting so you can see in the dark or day. I love it, I love it, I love it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click select. Okay, we got program, we got LiPo battery, click enter. Okay, same basically page. Now we're gonna click enter, start, enter again. So you got your stop. First of all, let's go over the buttons, okay? We have our stop, we have our select, okay? We have our uh, discharge button, our status. Then we have our charge button and status as well, left and right status. Then we got enter, and then we got stop. I'm sorry, enter, and then you got uh, enter and start. My bad. Okay, so now what we'll do is click the uh, start button or enter, and you'll see 2.2 start flashing. That's the amps. This is we're going to do a safe charge. So you can charge it at 5, 10 amps, etc but it's gonna limit the life of your battery. So I always charge safe charge, get the optimal yield of the battery life. So what we're gonna do, if this is a 3200 mAh milliamps, we're gonna charge it at 3.2 amps. So what we'll do is click the status bar up. You can hold it down if you want. 3.2, okay, amps. Click start and enter again, and it should go over here to 11.1. .1. We want 22.2 since it's a, a since it's a, uh, I'm sorry, since it's a six cell battery, 22.2. Now what you do, I love this, it's so safety, 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 I love it. Because these days with these chargers and LiPo, how dangerous this can be, burn your house down. You know, I'm never too cautious. Never be too cautious, okay? So what you'll do now is hold this button down, okay, and it should blink, it says, battery check, wait. And then it will confirm you know, I'll give you if you can see, you know, actually confirm if you want to stop or start. So we'll click start. Okay. Now here's the cool part. It'll give you, it'll tell you LiPo success. Okay. It'll tell you what current amperage is going into it. It'll tell you your current voltage, the time it takes to charge in your MAH. But we can get a little bit more detail than that. We can click the status light again. Okay. And we can change the different things. Or we can actually see in individual cells voltage. I mean, you can do so much with this thing, it's incredible. For the low price of $79.99, you can't go wrong. Sound like a pitchman here, but just a guy reviewing this thing. You can buy it at, I bought this from Hobby Town USA. I'm sure you can get it cheaper on Amazon or whatever. That's just, I'm just supporting a local hobby shop. I like the guy, the owner, All right, et cetera. So, if we want to go ahead and stop, the stop, you just click the stop button, the fan will stop. You'll hear it stop. Okay. Then what I like to do is undo the balance tab first. Careful not to damage the wires. Unplug this. These things can be really sticky sometimes. I put a little WD-40 in it just in case. By the way, WD-40 is not conductive. You can pour it straight on in a wall socket and it won't hurt it. I didn't find that out until the other day and I'm just trying to share it. Okay, now we want to charge like an airplane pack. It's a, a 20, to JR Sport 2700 nickel metal hydride battery. So what we're going to do now is pick the appropriate adapter. I just put it back up. So basically here it is. Same as before. Unplug this. So to the side. Plug like before. Black into black. Make sure it seats down. Don't break it. Just force it in there until it touches. Alright. Now. We'll take this, there's no balancing tab, just line up, you know, black to black, etc. Common sense stuff. Alright. Now what we'll do is go to the same menu, click, we'll go ahead and uh, click this, select, we'll go to program, enter. Okay, now I'm sorry, go to program, and then what you do is use your status to scroll. Like I said, we have uh, load data, which you can go to your computer and upload data, etc. We can save data, okay. We can select nickel metal, I'm sorry, nickel cadmium, nickel metal high drive. We'll click enter or start. Okay, and now it already has our, uh, already has, you basically guys, you only want to charge this at one amp. And it's going to take forever, but this is this is the way to go. You don't want to kill your packs. But if you have a brand new pack like this one, 
this is a brand new pack, you always want to cycle them maybe two, three times max. That's what I just to get everything broken. So what we'll do to do that, the cycle will actually come to the same thing, okay? And then we'll just move. Okay, we got charge and this has cycle and click two. I'm just gonna put two because I think two, I personally use two because I get everything break in and for my airplanes, I go out and fly and I bring it back and I charge it anyway, so it should be fine. And like I said, click enter. Okay, we'll hold it down. Okay, it's gonna wait and confirm everything's hooked up right. And click start. And you hear the fan come on and all, same thing. Well guys, it's always a good idea when you're going out on your picnic, always, always unplug it or if you really trust it, you know, they have a Venom makes a bag. I can't find mine for this video. I'm sorry about that. But they make a fireproof bag that you put your light hose in and if they do happen to catch fire, it won't burn down your house. Well, it might burn down your house, but it might burn your recliner or something versus the you precious babies. That's why I charge mine away from priceless things. Oh no, no. Jeez, no. My little baby fell off. He's just trying to have a good time up there with the big boys. He wishes he was like my 800, but you know, he's a little fella, he gets around. All right, so basically that includes the review of the Venom Pro 2 charger. I hope you find this video helpful. You can like, subscribe, do as you please. You know, dislike if you want, you know, be honest about it, because I need to know what to learn from my mistakes. And um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this review. My name is Total Matthias, so remember, make the first review count. Hello, my name is Holden Matthias with First Person Review. Today we're going to ride in my elevator up to the penthouse, which is the second floor. That's where I live. Okay, as you can see, two buttons one for one, and two for two, and 12. And push them. Oh no, it's dark, it's dark. Oh jeez. Oh, sorry about that. It's unofficial. Go ahead and click two. The lights come on, the hydraulics are going, and we're going up. By the way, Here's the cameraman that makes everything come true. Say hi, Billy. Hi. By the way, he's not named Billy, he's named Davey. My name's Old Matthias. Well, we're here. Go ahead and do that. And there's a door, a magic door. Okay. Oh, by the way, there's a phone down here.